Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Diddy. Yes, I still believe in Born to be Free. Cool t shirt, huh? You can buy them in the BitcoinFamily.com. On the BitcoinFamily.com. Today it's Monday morning. I haven't done a TA video already now for like. like Four days? Wow, the wonder happened. Now, we are gonna do a TA today to show you what uh, the weekly close was and everything, but also to show you what I think to see on the chart, which is really interesting as that would be a beautiful thing for Bitcoin to happen right now. Now, let's quickly jump into the chart to show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm making an excitement, drum ruffle, drrr, bam, over here. This is the first chart, guys. This is, of course, the four hour chart like you used for me. The Bitcoin chart with the bam, bam indicator. The bam, bam indicator was calling after that long short of that bam for a long here. Warning, there will be a long. Also here, warning, there will be a long. Also the blue line crossing the white line, warning, the bill be will be along. We closed above the yellow stepping line over here, and that's exactly the moment that we saw a shitload of green coming in. Could have been a beautiful moment to start that long um, over there. Target would be here, 0 0.6, or maybe even all the way up again back to these levels uh, in the long term. But this is like a very long term trade to 24k then. Now long term, I'm talking about a uh, 4 hour chart, like for me it can be a couple of days like that. You know, the top of the Bollinger Band is at 23,960, so it's a beautiful move that is possible for Bitcoin over there if you want to use the BAM BAM indicator. Then go BAM over here. To bitcoinfamily.com you will find all the products over here and you will find all the indicators even the free one the gt gar just go there and check it out now i love to zoom out and zooming out is looking at the bigger picture of bitcoin and the bigger picture starts for example with this beautiful one day chart on that one day chart you can already see there's a lot of people freaking out while it's like non unnecessary to freak out why is it unnecessary to freak out because we told you guys we are going to go and break that dollar white line come back retest it go up again and we won't go up in a straight line we will go up come down go up come down and at the moment we uh, seem to find support on that on that other dotted white line over here you see we wicked over there we start from here we go up we wick to there we go up we come back and we find support and yes um, that candle closed over here um, and we are opening a new candle uh, over here this is a one day candle uh, beautifully above that uh, closing candle so maybe the next move will be up again let's see normally after a golden cross we do a bigger move up than we have seen till now now if we zoom out a little bit more then we can see the same playing out but a little bit more bearish because we had resistance here at that level of that 200 weekly moving average every time we we knock that 200 weekly moving average and bam we close down below it and the new week just opened today and is going to close in like six days and 20 hours um it is closing at the bottom of the previous candle is this candle now again going to try to break that 200 weekly moving average average or are we going to see a bearish week that will create a higher low and that higher low to be very clear needs to be higher than that bottom price over there this is the bottom price and a new higher low should be higher so yes bottom a new high maybe a higher low i think the higher low would be somewhere around these levels over here then 20,000, i think above that level even a little bit um, and then again a new higher high and maybe that new higher high is then the high that we need to come above that 200 weekly moving average that's how it could play out like this is the weekly chart so that could take a very long time just look how the weekly chart moves we get a low we get a high then high is one one two three four five six seven weeks and then we get another low one two three four five six seven weeks before we go up again so we are now here one two three four five six seven weeks at that high we could go a few weeks bam to that higher low and then again that's how the bigger picture looks but that means that the bottom is in, which is the most positive part, in my opinion. If we are able to break that 200 weekly moving average, guys, then 28K, that green line, is the next target, which is definitely possible, in my opinion, depending on all the news that will come out about China, United States, and all that stuff, and if the Fed starts printing, but talking about that a little bit later in the video as well, and um, zooming out a little bit bigger, and then we look at the monthly, and we are like, ah. That's so fine. That's so relaxing to look at the monthly because the monthly is showing us beautifully that we must never freak out when it comes to Bitcoin, but we must always zoom out, like using two hands, zoom out. Why? Look, we found that bottom here. 
at that purple line, the 300 weekly moving average. We are fighting on the monthly now, the 200 moving average. This monthly candle is going to close in one day and 20 hours. Yes, it's almost the end of the month again and the beginning of March. And if that monthly will close above the previous candle, that's still a very beautiful candle. Yes, it's a little bit indecisive as the wicks at the top are um, the same as the bottom and the body is like a small body. But that doesn't mean that's a bearish candle. It's a green candle. We closed above the opening. And then maybe the next month, March, will be that push all the way up to that 28k level. Or maybe even the blue line, the 21 mo monthly moving average at 33k. So that's where the next resistance would be. Now, I'm going to share a couple of more charts that you would really like, I think, because um, these charts are going to show you exactly how uh, people felt at those periods in those years and how they should have not felt <laughs> at those periods in those years because uh, then they would have made a shit of the profit now let's quickly jump into those charts guys here this is the first one so this is a drawdown chart so this is the drawdown from the all-time highs in bitcoin and this is the chart where people like start to feel really bad in, per in certain periods like in the period that these drawdowns are here at the top the, the price is the black line of course and the drawdown is the pinkish area here people feel awful they're like oh my god bitcoin crashed all the way with 75 percent and i don't understand why they feel awful because that should be the moment they should be adding to their portfolio again to gain that huge profits in the next bull run here again here that cycle people are feeling awful oh, i don't know bitcoin is even crashing lower and here again people felt the same now if you look very closely you can see that there is kind of an uptrend in these drawdowns how do you mean let's let's draw a line we can clearly see that the drawdowns are becoming less aggressive yes this was a huge drawdown over here like that's like huge 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 and then we go went to 70 sec 77 percent and here 80 percent almost and here again 74 percent so a beautifully moment to be buying into Bitcoin is that moment now and that's what we are sh and that's what I will show you on bam this chart even more clear I think because on this chart you can see beautifully in which phase we are now in uh, the halving progress and the halving progress is showing us how much longer will it take to the halving and every time when we get into that 70% line you can see that we the bottom was in and that bam the new bull run starts and here again, bear market all the way up, and then we are 70% up to the next halving. From here, that halving 70% to the next, and bam, bottom was in, up to the next bull market. And now again, halving, 70%. I think the bottom is in, and we are in that next bull market all the way up to the halving here in March, April 2024, and then again go higher and higher, higher with a blow off top potentially. That's how the cycles work. Pause the video if you want to discover a little bit more on this chart because the dots, for example, means new all-time highs. So we can see that there is less all-time highs in that bull cycle, a lot of all-time high, all highs, new all-time highs in that bull cycle, and a shitload here as well. So let's see what comes next, guys. Now, next chart, bam. And this is the global liquidity, uh, that one that I was referring to a little bit earlier in the video. I told you guys, you know, when they all start printing again, then, then Bitcoin price will probably also, also go up. And that's what we mostly see on this chart. Um, every time when the market starts to print, and printing is being done by all these people over there. These are the guys, that these are the guys that are creating this fake money. These are the guys that print everything out of thin air and... Uh, fool you and tell you ah no it's real it's real it has value it has no inflation <laughs> it is like good money no these are the bastards over there so the fed ecb all those guys and they keep printing and then they combined they print a shitload of money and if you look at the combined printing of money every time when the printer turns on bitcoin goes up bitcoin goes up bitcoin goes up bitcoin goes up so it is very cool that they keep printing money i know that you all don't like it because it's exactly against the Bitcoin values of um, a market cap, a fixed market cap, a fixed supply. But on the other hand, and when they keep printing, more and more people are able to get into Bitcoin. And that's how I see it. I see it like this. You assholes print, we get smaller and smaller and smaller. The normal people also get into Bitcoin and then they can print at the end a shitload if they want. But at the end, their money will be worthless because they printed a shitload and they supported a lot of people to go into Bitcoin and have a beautiful, bright future for them and the children. That's how I look at it. Beautiful chart. Next chart. This is the last one. 
bam over here a uh, very interesting chart as well because on this chart um, you can see clearly the bitcoin compound annual growth rate the cagr i've been talking about this one uh, a couple of more times already in all my videos uh, very interesting to see is the longer you hold bitcoin the higher the cagr is of course uh, we are starting with 12 here then you would have 130 percent per year 10 years 95 percent eight years 77 but even four years still interesting because in four years time you have a 60% CHR, so annual growth rate, it's 60% growth per year in the last three, four years. So you can see the color of the lines here in line with, you know, if you started early, you had huge uh, profits, huge CAGRs, and now still 60% per year. There is no bank or any lending platform or anything that is going to give you 60% a year by just huddling that currency. And that's what you can see on this complete uh, chart, beautiful worked out. I think it's by Wicked Bitcoin or Satoshi's Journal, one of those. Uh, I don't know if you can see them because the video is always like cutting out some parts because else I don't have a full image. I think it's Wicked Bitcoin. I think it's the creator of the chart. And then we can see beautiful here that there is a decrease, but still, it's still beautifully going up. So for me, it is now exactly again that beautiful moment for you to buy into Bitcoin. Why? Because we are at the end of the bear market. We had a beautiful bottom at around 15,600K. And we even retested that bottom a little bit, then went up again. And we are going in the next phase of the cycle, which is the bullish phase of the cycle. So the next two years would be bullish years are we going to create a distribution top again like a double top or a blow off top that doesn't matter it only matters if you buy now because if you don't buy now you're not going to make that shitload of profit that you could be making on one of those tops the blow off or the distribution top you should be buying focus on buying at the moment and by that you're going to multiply your capital in the next one half to three years that should be your goal you should be zooming out in bitcoin buy a shitload of bitcoin zoom out and then start to zoom in at life try to enjoy the little things in life not only the things that are expensive that you can buy but also the things that you can do that doesn't cost you shit because at that moment you are holding more bitcoins in your portfolio the next two years that will be beautifully giving you a beautiful capital uh, to do whatever the fuck you want in the next decades of your life now that's everything i have for today i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment and if you want to support me and making all these videos and all the content then do use the links down below the videos guys there is a beautiful link to buy with i always train and buy with i it's for me the most reliable exchange that gives the biggest part of their profits back to the community through bonuses so if you use the link down below you get a shitload of bonuses up to thirty thousand us dollar for depos depositing some bitcoins that's a lot of free money to do some cool trades and that can make your capital even grow farther and faster and faster now that's everything for today guys hope you enjoyed it see you tomorrow again probably a walk and talk because i prefer those videos but i will do like two to three videos on ta every week again so you know what's happening in the beginning of the week in the middle of the week and maybe what's happening at the end of the week that's uh, what you can expect from me because i'm also born to be free and i want to make born to be free movies on the beach thank you for watching see you tomorrow again bam